Joining me now, Eric Williams, the Director of Community Development for the Vail Valley Partnership. We're talking about career fairs and students who are looking for jobs. How are you doing this morning? I'm well. Thank you for having us on. Thanks for coming on the show. I love the career fair. I've actually been a part of it before at Battle Mountain it High School. It got you this job. Yes, exactly. No, I'm just kidding. We were actually there uh, for the companies, so that was really nice to meet new students who are looking for jobs and kind of see what markets they're all interested in. A lot of people are interested in broadcasting. Yeah. But tell me a little bit about the career fair that's approaching. Well, it's the fifth annual career fair that's coming up, and uh, we're excited about it. It's Battle Mountain High School, and we're expecting around 100 businesses to show up and be part of that, like you've seen before. And you know that uh, everybody's got their table, and then people get to kind of walk around and figure it out. And if we put ourselves back in that place where we were in high school, mm -hmm. if, I, if I go back to the 1930s when I was in high school, and I think about it, you know, that you're not sure where, where path you want to go on or this or this or this. So this kind of gives kids an option to really look through and say, like, well, this might be something for me. And then ask those deeper questions, you know, because broadcasting, you think like in, in your position, oh, I just sit here on the couch and talk to people all day. But there's so much more to it than that. Mm -hmm. So this is really those opportunities for those juniors and seniors in high school, whatever they may, whatever they may be, to kind of really dig deeper into, to, into whatever profession they're looking at. And you said there's 100 businesses so far. I know that there's still room to sign up for more, but from hospitality to the restaurant industry to broadcasting to working on the mountain and so many more companies yeah. to choose from for these kids. You think about some of the big ones in our town, like Vail Resorts will have a big presence there because obviously they're, they're bringing in lots of different people. They're bringing in engineers, and it's not just ski lift techs or things like that. They're bringing in all sorts of different people for all the different things that Vail Resorts does. Uh, VVMC is going to have a big presence for those kids that are interested in moving into the medical profession and whatever that may be, whether it be Stedman or something like that, or being a PA. So, uh, you know, Gallegos and, and just normal companies that, you know, we need stone workers, we need plumbers, we need, we need these trade-based businesses to, uh, to, to build up their, as their employees start to phase out, we need to put more people in there. Not everyone's on the four-year college track, too. Mm -hmm. And I think this is kind of a nice opportunity for those kids who say, like, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure I want to go to college. I'm not sure I want to go $70,000 into debt. I really kind of want to get in the workforce. I want to stay here in the Valley. And this is a great opportunity for those kids who are who are maybe on that track rather than going away to the four-year uh, mine was a party mm -hmm. if, I, if I think <laughs> about it correctly but you know I wasn't ready to go on to four-year university after I graduated high school either that's why I went to trade school for broadcasting and so that's why it's so great to go to these uh, to these career fairs because you can also land internships out of them as well yeah and we're looking at that we're looking at internships apprenticeships whatever it may be and different businesses will have different tiers of what they're looking for mm -hmm. you know I think um, I was thinking maybe we should talk to the kids themselves yeah. and tell them when they're showing up, like, you know, dress for it just mm -hmm. a little bit. Throw what on a tie. What should they wear? What should they bring? Well, I, you know, if they have a resume put together, and a lot of them have been doing it in school in terms of, like, getting things focused, then let's get them, bring your resume. Have copies of it. Bring a folder. Look professional. Dress for the job you want is what Grandpa always used to say mm -hmm. to me. Not the job that you have, the one that you want. So, you know, come uh, come ready to to show that you're the you're the kind of person that this company could use. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea, you know, and then to the businesses out there as well, we do have spots available. And that's a big push that we want to make. I've, I'm probably at 55, 60 spots at this moment, and the, the career fair itself is April 4th. So I want to put 100 people, or 100 businesses at least, in that building so that kids really have the opportunity to look and, and kind of make that decision. Because it may be something that they had no idea they were interested in. Mm -hmm. Now, is this specific to Battle Mountain High School students, or can mm -hmm. students from all over the Valley come? That's a good question. Not at all Battle Mountain High School students. Students from all over the valley are welcome. We know that Battle Mountain, obviously, they're going to be there because the kids are there. Eagle Valley is sending buses of kids there. Vail Christian High School will be sending buses of kids, and Vail Mountain School will as well. So, and VSSA. So we've covered every high school in the valley, and they will, um, they'll all get a chance to you know, hopefully reap the benefits, hopefully take home some material, you know, talk with their parents, whatever it may be, and just learn. We just want them to have that chance to say, like, hey, this could be something for me. So that you're not afraid when you're graduating high school because there's a lot of different paths to choose from but it's not as scary as you make it out to be you know it's not as scary as you think when you're a senior uh the direction that you could go and where can we go for some more information go to well it's a partnership with vale rotary edwards rotary will have stuff on their site you can check information there uh eagle county schools obviously this is a big partnership with them the vale valley partnership my organization we support this as well as the colorado workforce center but i'd say 
uh, look on Facebook uh, is probably the best way to do it right now. And just, just check out Career Fair, whether you go to the Edwards Rotary page or the Vale Valley Partnership page. You'd probably get the most information there. Visit valevalley.com. You can also find it on my website. All right, great. Thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate you coming on the show. Your career is waiting for you. Maybe an internship, or maybe you just need a little bit more information about what direction you're going into after high school. That's happening again on April 4th at Battle Mountain. Coming up next, Gabe has a look at your weather forecast to let you know how long that sunshine's going to last. Thank you.